Thank you to the Union League for letting us do our interview here with Jim Clemens. Uh, we're standing in the beautiful Tom Bowers, which we just built this year. A lot of people don't know, they're shocked when they say, I lived a monastic life for five years with the Passionate Order. And I loved every minute of it. And I, I, I changed from there because I got to the point I thought I could do a lot more good out in the world. And what happened? I have, charity-wise. What happened while I was serving my apprenticeship, I knew I was going to get, get um, drafted and I went and enlisted in the Marine Corps instead. So, and as I said, I got my um, draft notice the second day and the guy said, forget it, it's, it we own you now. Mm -hmm. So um, I went in the Marine Corps, um, tough part of the war and um, came back and I started working for a general contractor, C Casco Construction, where Ruben worked. And um, um, eventually at some point, I decided I was going to go out on my own after Sandy asked me to come and do renovations in the real estate business. And that's how we got started. And the first year in business, we did a million dollars and never looked back. All right, so what was your first big job at Clemens that put you on the map? Well. I don't know if there was any big job. We started doing small jobs first. Okay. And uh, we started doing small jobs for PNC Bank. Uh, as I mentioned, the one the woman in transition was our first start that I literally did with my own hands and the help of my two real estate buddies. Um, we just got we just got a great reputation quickly. We started doing work for uh, accounting firms okay. and uh, and law firms. Yeah, we're, yeah. we're upfront and, and yeah. honest, and, and uh, um, I'd like to say people like me. <laughs> yeah, you're definitely a likable guy. I just think you're very real. But um, a job, uh, a, a, the job that scared us the most, there's no doubt, and, uh, and we had shirts made up. We survived the Drake. The Drake was That a was scare. my next question. Was that yeah. the most challenging project? One of the most challenging. Okay, uh, and what happened there? Well, it just was an old, <laughs> old building, okay. and uh, everything we touched went bad. I think the job finally came out all right. It's a beautiful building. It's a beautiful building, and um, so we were, we were we were lucky. We, we got it, got through that one. Is it, how does it feel when you walk around and you see all of you see your name on these projects that we're doing? Uh, you know, it's funny. I am I am a, a trustee on the International Carpenters Union mm -hmm. with Doug McNa Doug McCarran the president of Carpenters Union, which represents 600,000 carpenters. And I've been a trustee on that. We have a $100 million training fund, and we have a million square foot training center in Vegas, state of the art. And McCarran came here and said, Jim, are you getting royalties? <laughs> he said, everywhere I look, there's a Clemens banner hanging yeah. down the wall. Yeah. So again, that's part of what really makes me very proud. Mm -hmm. um, it's just it's just fun to, to see it all and see how it company's grown and what are your what's your proudest moment or achievement at Clemens hiring Steve <laughs> <laughs> Steve Poppert I know well I'll tell you a little story um, I won't say it what it was it was at a, a dinner with a bunch of his family and Steve got up and said you know when I decided to take over Clemens, I was scared to death. I didn't think I could do it. And uh, he, he said, he, he kind of trained himself and, and look what he's done. He's look what he's created. Yeah. Look at Steve and his team and what they've done is probably the proudest thing that I have as a legacy to know that it all came from the start of a humble beginning. I know you've been married to Sally, your wife, for how many years? 31. 31 years. And so on the other side of retirement, what what is your perfect day? Be with her. Aww. <laughs> oh my God. That is so uh, sweet. Well, you know, we're active people. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we're in, in our, my mantra now is I'm getting up there in years and I'm I took a line out of Clint Eastwood, don't let the old man in. Yeah, that's a great line. Uh, luckily, we've got good health right now, thank God. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, giving back, doing, doing our work and giving back 